What do you do with students that struggle with auditory processing disorder? I have this. There are two techniques that are kind of used for auditory processing disorder. One of which of course is the most important, that technique being write things down. <laughs> students with APD, also known as auditory processing disorder, do extremely well when directions are written in a step-by-step -step fashion in a way that can be visually processed. It's tricky to understand directions, therefore everything should be written down. Even something as easy as like going outside for recess, directions on how to do that need to actually be written down. Saying, oh, we go outside for recess at 10, 15, make sure to push in your chair, doesn't necessarily get interpreted properly by somebody with APD. You need to write out how that happens. And so it can be visually seen. And if you're really gonna go above and beyond as a teacher or a learning specialist, give them a picture because pictures are even easier to interpret visually. Now, the last thing you're gonna do with somebody with APD is the exact opposite of what I am doing now. You do not wanna be wordy. I'm actually very, very wordy. When it comes to people with auditory processing disorder, short, sweet, to the point, that's the way to kind of go about communication. You don't want overly verbose communication like I do with most of my TikTok videos. I wanna keep things short and to the point. No extra wording, and I hope this helps.